In this video, we're going to look at 2D vectors uh, with vector notation. So here we've got three vectors. We've got A, which is 5i plus j. 5i means a movement of 5 in the x direction. So it's going along 5 in the x direction. And then a j means up 1 in the y direction. So i is a movement in the x direction, j is a movement in the y direction, and we can write it as a column 5, 1. So the change in the x on top, the change in the y on the bottom. Minus 2i plus 3j, so minus 2i is back 2 in the x direction, and 3j is up 3 in the y direction. So we can write that as minus 2, 3. And vector C here, we've got a long 1 in the x direction, up 4 in the y direction. So that's 1, 4. OK, so we're going to look at adding up and taking away these vectors. So we've got A as 5, 1, B as minus 2, 3, and C as 1, 4. So if we've got 2A plus B, that means we've got two of these, two A's, two 5, 1's, plus our minus 2, 3. So that's oh, two 5's, a 10, and two 1's a 2. So we've got 10, 2, plus minus 2, 3, and we can just add along. So we're going to add the i's, so we've got 10 take away 2, which is 8, add the j's, 2 plus 3 is 5. If we wanted to write that in i and j notation, that's 8i plus 5j. The second one, 3b take away a c. So we've got three of the minus two threes. Take away a one four. So three of these, that's minus six nine. And we're taking away one four. So again, we're just gonna go along the top. So the eyes, we've got six eyes, take away one eye, which is negative seven. And we've got 9 take away 4 for the j's. 9 take away 4 is 5. So we've got minus 7, 5. Or we've got minus 7i plus 5j. And finally, 2a's plus 3c's. So that's 2 of the 5 1's plus 3 of the 1 4's, which is 10, 2 plus 312, and we're just going to add along, so that gives us 13, 14, or 13i plus 14j. Okay, here are some different numbers, so pause the video, give these ones a go, and press play when you're ready to go through. Okay, so this time A is 2 and minus 6, B is minus 2 minus 7, and C is 2 and minus 2. So we've got 2A plus B for the first one. So we've got 2, 2 minus 6s, plus minus 2 minus 7, which is the same as 4 minus 12, plus minus 2 and minus 7. So along the top, for the i's, we've got 4 take away 2, which is 2. And for the j's, we've got minus 12, minus 7, which is minus 19. Or 2i minus 19j. 3b minus a c. So we've got 3 of the minus 2 minus 7s. Minus our c, which is 2, minus 2. So that's the same as 
minus 6 minus 21 minus 2 minus 2. So the top line, we've got minus 6 minus 2, which is minus 8. And the bottom line, we've got minus 21 minus minus 2, which means plus 2. So minus 21 plus 2 is minus 19. Or minus 8i minus 19j. And finally, 2a plus 3c. So 2 of the 2 minus 6s plus 3 of the 2 minus 2s, which is the same as 4 minus 12 plus 6 minus 6. So along the top, we've got 4 plus 6, which is 10. And the bottom, we've got minus 12 minus 6, which is minus 18. Or 10i minus 18j. Okay, so this time we're going to be looking at mod A, mod B, and mod C. So what that means is the distance of the line. So if we've got a vector along 5 up 1, along 5 and up 1, when we've got mod, it means the magnitude. It means how long is that line. So how long is that line? And we use Pythagoras to work it out. So if we've got 5 and 1, the hypotenuse is 5 squared plus 1 squared is the hypotenuse squared. So 25 plus 1 is 26. So mod A is the square root of 26. Same for the second one. So we've got back two up three this time. But the question's the same. How long is that line? What is the magnitude of this vector? So we're going to do two squared plus three squared. And we're going to square root the answer. And that will give us mod b is equal to square root 13. And the same thing for c. We've got a long one up for. What's the magnitude of the vector? What's the length of the hypotenuse? We've got 1 squared plus 4 squared square rooted, which is root 17 this time. Okay, same thing again. Pause the video, give this a go, find the magnitude of these vectors. Okay, so now we've got A as 2, along 2, down 6. Along 2, down 6. So the magnitude, the length of that line is 2 squared plus 6 squared square rooted, which is root 40, or that could be simplified to 2 root 10. B, we've got back 2 down 7. So the magnitude is the square root of 2 squared plus 7 squared, which is root 53. And for C, we've got a long 2 down 2. So the magnitude is the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared, which is root 8 or 2 root 2. Okay, this time we've got points given by position vectors. So A is at the position along 2, down 3. B is at the position along 1, up 2. And C is at the position along 5, down 1. So A, B and C are all in different positions. And if we want to find A to B, how far from A to B, we do B take away A. So A to B is B take away A. So we're going to have the position of B take away the position of A. 
So the position of B is 1, 2. We're going to take away the position of A, which is 2 minus 3. So 1 take away 2 for the I's. That's minus 1. And 2 take away negative 3. That's 5 for the J's. So we could have minus I plus 5J. Okay, question two, we're going to find the magnitude of A to B. So the length of that line from A to B. So it's back one and up five. So the length of the line is the square root of one squared plus five squared, which is root 26. For B to A, we're going to do A take away B. So it's the same as the first one, just the other way around. So that's forwards 1 in the I direction and back 5 in the J direction. So I minus 5J this time. And the magnitude of that line, well, it's the same. Root 26. And A to C, we're going to do C take away A. So C is 5 minus 1. A is 2 minus 3. So 5 take away 2, that's 3. Minus 1 take away a negative 3, that's 2. So it's 3i plus 2j. And... The magnitude, the distance of this line, distance of going along 3 and up 2, 3 squared plus 2 squared, square rooted, which is root 13. Okay, here are some different numbers. So work out, we've got the positions of A, B and C, work out how far you've got to go from A to B in terms of I and J, and then work out the magnitude of that line. Okay, so A to B is B take away A. So we've got 2 minus 5, take away 5 minus 2, which is 3, no, minus 3, and minus 5 minus minus 2, minus 3. So A to B is down 3 on the I and down 3 on the J. So the magnitude is the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared, which is root 18. B to A, again, that's going to be the same, but the other way around. So A take away B this time. 5 minus 2. Take away 2 minus 5. And that will give us 3, 3. So 3i plus 3j. And the magnitude of that line? Well, 3 root 2. And A to C. So C take away A. 5, 1. Take away 5 minus 2. So that's 0, 3. So if we're going along 0, up 3, that means the length of the line is 3. The magnitude of it is 3.